Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. If you guys aren't already subscribed, you should definitely subscribe. I post new videos every Friday for you guys. Today I am going to be doing a tutorial on this unicorn inspired cut crease. I was just kind of playing around with the colors and just kind of put this together and didn't even realize it until my boyfriend's like, that kind of looks like a unicorn. Is that what you're going for? And I'm just like, not really, but I mean, it looks like it, so let's go with that. And for this tutorial, I am going to be using the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And it's just absolutely stunning. When you look at this palette, like, there's just so many things that you can create from this. It's ridiculous. Like, I just get so much inspiration from looking at this. It's, it's so surreal. So that's probably what I'm going to be using for the next couple months is this just creating as much looks as I can with it because I just look at this and I feel so inspired so I want to stay in that zone so let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial For this tutorial today, we are going to be creating this unicorn inspired cut crease. I originally had white liner down, but I didn't like how it looked, so I changed it to the black liner, and I think it looks a thousand times better. And I'm just going to be showing you on the other eye what I did, so I'm going to zoom you guys in, and we'll get, we'll get this tutorial started, guys. Alright, now that I have you guys all zoomed in close so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to be taking my JH33 brush from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection, and it's just a nice flat shader brush, which is just going to help us focus on the crease solely. And I'm going to be taking the shade Cute from the Jawbreaker palette, and I'm going to focus that on the crease and the outer corner. So now that that's done, I'm going to go in with the next brush and just blend that in. And I'm going to be using a few brushes to blend, blend in for different purposes. So I'm going to be taking my M441 from Morphe. This is just a different type of blending brush that's going to help disperse the product. So I'm going to take that color and just start blending it upwards. Alright, so now that, that I have that blended with the second brush, I'm going to take one more brush. I know I'm extra, but I really love how this just makes everything seem seamless. So I'm going to use the E27 brush, and it's just like a... Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's a blending brush. That's the best way I know how to describe it. But this one, it just makes everything much more seamless with the blending. See what I'm saying? I don't know if you can see what I'm saying, but I can see what I'm saying. It just like it makes it look more smooth. Alright, for this next part, I am going to be cutting out the inner corner, and I'm just gonna do that taking my cellar water and a cotton swab. Alright, so now that I kind of cut the crease, I'm going to fill in that blank spot with some concealer. And then we're going to lay down the pink shade. Alright, so 
now once you've cut your crease with the concealer, we're going to go ahead with that pink shade right now. And it is called Snack. So I'm just going to put that right on top of the concealer. And I'm going to be using my flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics. Now that we have that in the inner crease, I'm going to go ahead and darken up the inner crease a little bit just to give it some dimension. And I'm just going to be taking that flat blending brush from earlier and I'm actually going to be taking the shade Delicious and I'm just going to lightly darken up the outer corner. You don't want to go too heavy with this at all. And I'm just going to go back into the mint green shade and just kind of marry the pink and the mint green together because this looks weird right now. Alright, so now that I got that all cleaned up, it should be looking something like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen up the outside and then we'll move on to the next step all right so now we're just going to go ahead and add a, the final color to this whole look and that is gumdrop And then I'm just going to be taking the shade Good Morning just to kind of blend it into my skin a little better just so everything looks more seamless. Alright, so that is it for the eyeshadow portion. I'm going to do my liner and lashes off camera just because it's tedious and time consuming. But if you guys want to see a video regarding that, just let me know and I can show you guys how I do it precisely. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I will be back to show you guys the rest of the tutorial. Alright, now that the lashes are on, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the final step, which is going to be the lipstick. I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Liquid Velour Lipstick and the shade Chrysanthem. I'm not sure if this shade is still available. I feel like it is discontinued. Like it was a limited edition because I had gotten it a few years back when it first came out. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lips. This is literally one of my favorite shades that he's ever came out with. It's just, it complements a lot of things like so well. Alright, so that just about wraps it up for this tutorial with the Jawbreaker palette. It is just an absolutely beautiful palette and like when I look at it, I just see like so many creations coming out of this. It's just truly like inspiring to like look at all these shades and like you can literally come up with so many things from this. Like I absolutely love how this look turned out today. And I'm probably going to be using this for a while, just coming up with a lot of creative things. But I hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial. And if you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I do post every Friday for you guys. And you guys definitely do not want to miss out, so make sure you hit that bell as well so that you guys are notified as soon as I post. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you guys soon.